Okay, as I said previously, there are a myriad of program choices for PLC beginners, but if you are a beginner, you have to learn the from easy one to the higher, the hard ones. And for easy ones, we talked about the easy soft. Then uh, we decided to make some projects in easy soft. It's easy, as usual. Easy soft is very easy to learning for in ladder diagram, but in general, a ladder diagram is not useful to make some uh, sensible and, of course, smart uh, systems as uh, function block diagram. Today, we will start with function block diagram and the first program for function block diagram, as I said previously, is Logosoft from Siemens. Let's open our program, Logosoft. Logosoftware opens with this interface. Here we have some quick buttons like the help and something else. It's the most important one open, which we can continue with opening our uh, previous projects and the new one. New one we opened with function block diagram, ladder and UDF program. We will talk exactly many time about the function block diagram because it, we are able to make a lot of uh, smart, most smartest and uh, beautiful, incredibly uh, <coughs> quick responding programs in uh, uh, function block diagram. This is the interface for function block diagram. We have buttons and of course here we have library, a lot of elements including buttons, analog, network, basic functions about logic, timers, counters, inputs, relays, analog inputs and other kinds etc. And let's add, firstly, we have the status, status bar, which will simulate it. For simulating, we utilize the tools, simulate, transferring. We need some from, from P PC to logo, software controller from logo to PC. We can la download and upload program. Yes, let's add a new button here, input. And of course, output very easy way to connect them we have the selection for select elements we can either control from here or uh, right button from here connection we have to connect we get information if we uh, make some connection okay we have connection here and for break one for instance we have to select this one exactly press in the line and press the keyboard delete and we will delete it. Let's make connection again and let's simulate or we can easily uh, simulate from the toolbar or yes tools simulate or press the F3K from keyboard and we open the our states bar control panel. Control panel illustrates like that we can either control from here let's press and or from here it makes a connection, but uh, we are able to change the uh, change the uh, purpose of our program. Let's uh, utilize uh, press two times on the our button. We have the comment. We can uh, type here input for example, or go to the simulation. We have momentary push button. We will make pushing. We have the momentary break button. Uh, button is uh, making we uh, press to uh, break it frequently it will uh, automatically range of values it automatically switch or switch off and uh, switch on and momentary push button we uh, prefer to utilize for our projects in separate way as I said previously it's let press the F3 keyboard now uh, let's simulate we have momentary push button Okay, but in uh, systems which we call the smartest systems, we are not able to utilize this kind of buttons, switch buttons or other kinds. For the making contact and for sureing that this contact will work safely and quickly, we need some relays. Relays are uh, the most uh, beautiful one for this purposes. We have the latching relay and pulse relay. What is the difference between these relays? This relay illustrates here the flip-flop, which name it the T-flip-flop. This one I prefer to call because we have the trigger input. And RS flip-flop. RS flip-flop. Let's utilize all of them together. 
uh, okay let's connect S and R and our output let's run our program by typing F3 let's uh, I'm sorry let's change the uh, simulation of this button also uh, tool simulation okay let's once press this one I pressed and we have you know output high voltage let's press this one once I pressed it resets sets and resets sets and reset this is the safative way and shooting way that your program works uh, safatively and confidently let's add a new button here and input okay let's situate this one here uh, situation simulation and momentary button trigger button set button and reset button as I previously we talked set button sets and reset button resets of course but why why we need the three three during button for instance this one is the three during set button sets and reset resets it's like the uh, RS flip-flop in T flip-flop we have the uh, other uh, input once sets against resets sets and when we press this button again it resets itself sets and we can from here reset also we can if we have reset we can from here set this one w this is the great difference between uh, two kind of this relays and also I utilize in my projects both of them it depends on purposes it depends on conditions if you want either you can utilize all of them and today's uh, our our project and for the next project we will make some new things in is uh, logo soft from Siemens thank you for watching